All you need to play two audio files mixed together with audio files, and then we copy to output directory. Copy if newer. Both of them. And then we need the package and audio.core. So we also need this using an audio.wave up here. Then start first by making two audio streams. And if we do this first, one is new. Let's file right here. Put this into it. And the way we will do this, just put the path of the file. And when we copy, if newer, this is going to put it in the output directory. This is going to put it in the binary folder. The same directory as the exe. So. We can just put that, we don't need actual paths. Oh, we need to make this stack. This is a stack method. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is we're going to convert these to 32 bit channels. So we need another 2, we're just going to call this cursor 2. 32. So this is going to be the same audio, but it's going to be 32 bit because in order to use this mixer thing we're going to use, it needs to be 32 bit form. So do this. Next thing is the mixer itself. Wave right there too much mixer. And the last thing we can actually play it to our ears is direct sound out. So the mixer is being in so we prior 32. We're going to add input streams. We're going to add the 32 bit ones because they must be in 32 bit. So that's called the mixer provider 32. So we're going to add the second one. So 32. And then to create our direct sound out. Now, I, I've seen a lot of code that does not have this. I always put it because I don't know, it never works if I don't put this. I think it might be because it plays like the first device or something, and my primary isn't my first. But I don't know, for whatever reason, I think you need to put this, and I use the default device. This always works for me. If you don't put this, it'll still compile, but I don't know, then the audio just doesn't play. So then we're going to init it, initialize it, with the mixer stream. This is the stream it's going to play. This can take a few seconds sometimes, so depending on how you're using this, you might want to put this somewhere else. So this is a V. Calculation right there, and then the next thing we're just going to play it, and this would be instantaneous. So, this will play it right away, and this has no wait time. This does, this can take a bit. Last thing in these, when we're creating these wave channel 32s, there are volume. So, 0.0 is normal audio, 1.0 would be all in your right ear, and negative 1.0 would be all in your left ear. And then, like, 0.5 would be part So that's why that works. So, um, default is 0, 0.0, of course. Okay, so, oh, I did, okay. So, okay, let us set that. For pan, if we want it all the way in our right ear, we need these Fs in here to make them flow. Because if we don't, the compiler is going to think it's supposed to be a double and that's not going to do a convert. So, play this one a little louder and just play it at normal. Besides, so 
The barking will be all the way in our right ear at half volume. With the 75% volume, let's say. Well, the ringtone be in both of our ears. So, now if we just compile this. Keep this running. So I'm using a console where we're just going to put the key. Let's see, I can hold. 